ex-airline cabin crew and have experienced this behaviour on many flights before, not just to Ibiza. I used to deal with this by not serving alcohol to anyone who'd already had too much, separating groups of people <laughs> if things got out of hand. Mm. And then we would use the restraint kit <laughs> and arrange for the local authorities to meet the aircraft on arrival. I shouldn't laugh, it's a very serious matter. Oh. <laughs> um, and Hannah, I was once on a flight to the Caribbean, and as I slept, the person in the seat behind me put chewing gum in my <gasps> hair. Oh, no. no. The stewardess had to cut it that out. out. No, that's too And far. Uh, Jennifer, complaining about unruly, unpredictable passengers confined in a small space with you and your children is dangerous. Put up with it until you well, land. That's oh, true. That's what would worry me about. That's the British way, isn't it? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> no, I don't agree with I that. I complain all the way, but don't say so. well, yeah. How was your flight? Fine. Yeah. <laughs>